Hey, what's up? This is your girl Diamond. How are you? Hi. So, Jenny Mock has just released her book, Redefining Realness. For the promotion of this book, she has done some interviews. One of those interviews was with Pierce Morgan. They did an interview, and in the interview, he kept reiterating that she was born a boy and then transitioned to a woman. She was, when he was describing her telling the love of her life, what was going on with her, he said something around the nature of, you were a man, and now that you're a woman, when you were telling, how did you explain to your now boyfriend that you were once a man, now you're a woman? Um, he referred to her old self as male in that regard. After the interview, um, Janet sent out three tweets, and it caused, I guess, a firestorm of attacks on Pierce. She recame on the show and I guess it was to explain all the negative stuff that happened after that first interview. And this particular interview, the second the second one lasted about 10 minutes. Within that 10 minutes, all that was discussed was how Pierce, from his point of view, didn't understand how you refer to yourself as, I used to be a boy, I used to be male, or I used to be a man. Or you seen these type of things, when I said them, you didn't have a problem with them. And then Janet explains her position on why she did not address the issues on the first interview. Why she didn't address him saying these things like, used to be a boy, used to be a man, used to be male. Why she didn't, and she explained that she was kind of scared and wanted to be cordial on the first interview. And then she went to explain why it's not appropriate to refer to her as that. From watching that interview, I wanted to come while it was fresh on my mind and share my thoughts about what went through my mind while watching Jen and Mock and Pierce go back and forth during this dialogue. Look at me, T.S. Madison, Janet Mock, people like um, Ashley Love, um... Grishno here on YouTube, Cat, Cat Black. All of us are trans women, and we don't agree on so many things, so many elements of the transgender experience. T.S. Madison being the far end of the spectrum in regards to she feels like she was a gay male that did these things to her body for sexual reasons because there was a certain type of man that she attracts that she was attracted to and she wanted to get and she done all these surgery and changes to her body to get those type of men. It was a totally sexually based transition. That's her stance on it. My stance is different than that. I don't feel that we are one and the same. I don't consider myself a gay male. I don't um, consider myself a native woman. I have no problem with someone saying I was born a boy. I have no problem with saying with someone saying that I was born male. I do have a problem with somebody saying you used to be a man. The reason why I have a problem with that is because I transitioned so early that I didn't grow up into a man. I grew up into a woman. So I never became a man. I became a woman. 
yes, I was a little boy. Definitely. I had a penis. I played. Um, I rode my bike. I played in dirt. I was conditioned and raised to be a boy. Even though from five and six, that that, that identity didn't feel right. But I was a little boy. I was assigned a little boy. Whereas some trans women, they feel like I am nothing but a woman that had a deep, that was born with a defect, that I got fixed, and now I'm nothing but a woman. I was native born woman, born with a defect. That's how they think of themselves. So, with all these varieties of thoughts on transition that we can't even agree on. Even the word tranny, I'm not offended by. Some girls are fully offended by. They even equate it to nigger, which I think is crazy. But to them, it's not crazy. It's disrespectful to them. To me, it's not. To some people, it's not. So we all have varying opinions and I, what is offensive, what is not offensive. How, can, how the hell can we expect... People on the outside to totally understand to come in as an ally and be fully sympathetic and understanding and not make any type of mistakes with how they ask questions, with how they come at you. You have to understand that some people are intentions are not to be negative. And I think, my personal opinion, I don't think Pierce's intentions were to be negative how am, how am I supposed to address the situation that is at hand you did used to be a boy you did you yourself when we talk when we're telling a guy that we're dating RT when we're disclosing to him that is the language that we use well, I was born a, when I was I was, when I was born I was born a male. Or when I when I was younger I was a boy. Well, when I came out I was I was kind of special and I wasn't I was a little different. And then they're gonna ask you a question. Well, what are you talking about? Well, I, well I was born this way. You're not gonna say I was born trans and went all the way. They're not gonna get it. They're not gonna understand it. When you tell them that you were born a boy and you transition, then they get it. This is how we tell our teeth. We tell our T by saying we were born a boy. So if we tell our T that way, how the hell can we get mad at somebody saying, well, you were born a boy and transition to a woman? How can we get mad at that? I don't understand it. I don't, I feel like we are not, this whole interview was 10 minutes of, of arguing about whether that was appropriate or offensive when it didn't, that took away from the time. There was a little moment where Janet talked about the real issues like us being um, marginalized and us dying and us being disrespected and um, fired from jobs and all the negative. There was a little moment that that peeked through. But most of the interview was a debate about how was this uh, uh, Pierce not understanding how was this offensive and Janet trying to explain that I, and I and I was annoyed by it just like the trans 101 questions the trans 101 questions like uh, that focuses on the body that focuses on the whole physical transition, oh, the sensationalism, just just as wrong as they are for doing that, I feel like we are just as wrong for thinking they're supposed to fucking under, understand every fucking thing when we don't even fucking understand everything. We can't even come to agreement on certain things. Some transsexuals out here that feel like you're not a fucking transsexual if you don't get a sex change, and that's not fair. That marginalizes us and divides us as well. We can't even come to an agreement and understanding of each other. How can we expect them to do it and be vicious and mean and attack them when they are an ally? We are out here 
doing the best that we can to try to educate. We are out here doing the best that we can to try to learn each other. Shit, I'm still learning so much stuff about um, F to M's. Stop being so fucking sensitive. When we feel that sensitivity coming on about those basic one-on-one shit, a motherfucker called you a, said that you was born a boy. Who gives a fuck? Okay, if, if that's your language that you understand my situation, great. I was born a boy and now I'm a woman, great. Okay, let's talk about why, did, why I'm having problems in this society because of that situation. We'll deal with the language about it later. Let's deal with the problems because that's what's having bitches kill themselves. That's what's having bitches getting murdered and the criminals walking away from murdering them. The problems, not whether or not I think I was born a boy or I think I'm really intersex or I think... Uh, what? Who gives a fuck? Who cares about that? We should be caring more about focusing on getting the problems out here. Stop spending time wasting arguing about semantics. That's a waste of time. Me and T.S. Madison had a conversation. About two weeks ago. And we were talking about doing the civil rights movement, how... Malcolm X had a way of thinking and those militant um, Black Panther, that militant fighting more, more violently taking your rights. And then you have Malcolm, um, uh, Malcolm, not Malcolm X, um, Martin Luther King and Bayard Rustin and those people who had more of the peace, peaceful protest way of thinking about things. But we needed both of them. We needed both of them. We needed both of them. We needed those people to have both those ideology, ideologies because both of them spoke to different people. Some people won't listen to you and get a change until you bust them upside their fucking head. And some people will take that peaceful protest and look at it like, oh my God, they're so civilized and uh, changing. We need to make the change. Look at look at them getting sprayed with these holes and bit by dogs, and they're just they're not even fighting. Some people will look at that and change. But some people will change when they see that baby. They really not to be fucked with. It's different. Both of those ways had their place in moving the civil rights movement along. The way T.S. Madison thinks about her transition, the way I think about my transition, the way Janet Mock thinks about her transition, the way Laverne Cox thinks about her transition, the way all of individual us thinks about our transition should be O motherfucking K. It should be okay. Whether I'm a passable girl or a clocky girl, I should be okay to be whatever, to be wherever I am in my transition, and I should not be discriminated against. I should not be wherever I am. I should be able to live my life happily without being judged and hurt and bothered. It doesn't matter what I think about my transition. We can all disagree. But at the end of the day, we are human beings living a human experience. And we all come from different paths and have different views and ideologies about this human experience. And we don't understand it. We try to explain it to the best of to our abilities. To people on, on the outside of it. There was a guy. I think it was a guy. A story I read about a guy writing a book who had cerebral palsy. The author had cerebral palsy. And he wrote a book. If I ask this man as many questions as I can, as I can think about to try to understand his situation... First of all, he may not even have the words to explain his experience to the full extent of his experience. I may not have the relatability to even understand if he did when explaining his experience. Language may not be enough for us to get our full 
explanation of our transition in our transgender lives. We might not, have, we all know that labels do not fit. We may not have a language that has the capacity to make people understand. We may not. But, one wrong thing, I think, is not understanding that. Not understanding that some people should not be attacked based on one simple small thing like that, like Pierce did. I just don't feel like it was fair. You have people who are way more malicious in their attack of you. I can see you attacking them. But allies, you have to understand that sometimes they don't get it, but they're still trying to help. So there's no point in attacking them. It's unfair to attack them. Anyway. Now I'm done. Tell me what y'all think. This is my opinion. This is my thoughts. <laughs>